The results are in on Prop 22. So what is this going to mean for drivers? Hey everyone, Chris here for the Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to be talking about the results of Prop 22, what it's going to mean for drivers, what it means for the state of California, and also what it means for Uber and Lyft, its stock price, and a couple of other things. So we're going to be talking about that right now. Now first, if you're not familiar with Prop 22, I don't know where you've been because it's been one of the most talked about things, especially within the rideshare industry. And also, you couldn't go anywhere in the state of California without seeing some sort of yes on 22 because of how much money was totally spent on this ballot initiative. Either way, what Prop 22 is, it's a proposition that sidesteps AB5 and continues to keep gig workers as independent contractors instead of employees. So it was a response to AB5 that these companies like Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and several others had put massive, massive amounts of money. In fact, over $200 million towards this initiative, which is by far the most costliest in California state history. And it could be the most costliest in the nation but we'll find out that total number very soon. So going over the results of this Prop 22 and what happened in the state of California, as you can see on the screen, 72% reporting so far when it comes to the results when this was being recorded. And the yes is at 58.4%. And on the no side, it's 41.6%. So as you can see, Prop 22 is passed. So what does Prop 22 passing mean for California drivers? Well, it means that drivers will remain independent contractors and not switch over to employees like AB5 and the AB5 lawsuit against Uber and Lyft have made drivers become employees in about 17 or 18 days from now if Prop 22 had failed. Drivers will also have certain benefits like a minimum floor earnings as well as a healthcare stipend that these companies will pay for starting at 15 hours and going up from there. And then also they will be able to get things like accident insurance and a few other benefits included. Now these benefits aren't going to happen overnight, but they are going to come in time. Uber and Lyft have both announced to the drivers that they are going to be giving them information as it comes out over the next few weeks as to how all of these changes are going to happen and take place. Now that Prop 22 is passed, what does that mean for the state of California? Well, it's going to mean a few things. And first, it's going to mean that AB5 is pretty much nullified and Prop 22 will become law of the land. It also means that if they try to enact any type of legislation to further take away from Prop 22 or anything like that, they're going to need a 7 eighths vote in order to make any changes to Prop 22. Now let's talk about some other states that have already enacted AB5-like legislation or looking to pass similar AB5-like legislation. And these states would include Massachusetts, which already have AB5-like legislation on the books, but haven't really done anything to enforce it, as well as New York, New Jersey, and a couple others that are looking to create and have some sort of AB5-like legislation on the books to try to make drivers into employees instead of independent contractors. And this could be a few different things. They could try to go back to the drawing board and see how they could change it just a little bit in order to tweak things that something like Prop 22 would have a little bit harder of a time passing or provide more protections when it comes down to it, if they so choose. And they could also just kind of give up on their ideas or press forward full steam and see what happens in the event Uber and Lyft decide to try to create a prop for that particular state. Now, because Massachusetts already has AB5-like legislation on the books, that will probably be the next state in order to see if they're going to try to enforce it or if they're going to switch things around. Or again, if Uber and Lyft come into town and try to create some sort of proposition for next year's election or something very similar in other states like New York and New Jersey. 
Now let's talk about what this is going to mean for Uber and Lyft going forward, not only in the state of California, but in other states as well as on a national level regarding Prop 22. So Uber and Lyft have to be very happy that Prop 22 passed because of the millions upon millions of dollars and some of the polls looking like it could fail. And they got to be happy because not only did Prop 22 pass and drivers remain independent contractors, but it also means that their stock prices have gone up. Now, both stocks are up over 10% trading on the day so far, and it also put billions of dollars into their market cap. But we all know that both Uber and Lyft do not just have their sights set on making sure Prop 22 passed in California, but they're also going to be taking on other states that are going to enact similar AB5-like legislation and could potentially try looking at doing something on a national level. Now, you may recall that Uber's CEO wrote a op-ed in the New York Times a couple months ago talking about a third classification of drivers, not necessarily employees, not necessarily independent contractors, but somewhere in the middle. And that's essentially what Prop 22 is. So it could be something that they could be shooting for on a national level or across all markets within the United States. In either event, whether they try to go state by state or if they try to go and do something on a national level, it's going to be a pretty big uphill battle and probably be quite costly as well. Now, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on Prop 22 passing? And do you think it's going to come to another state or on a national level anytime soon? Comment below. Over the next few weeks, as new updates emerge, there will be update videos as to how Prop 22 will affect drivers within California and then any possible changes that Uber and Lyft may be looking at other states or across the country. So make sure you subscribe to the Rideshare Guy as new videos come out each and every single week. All right, everyone, drive safe.